guys welcome back to the channel today's video guess what we're doing all right let me explain real quick all right so i've been having trouble with my clutch we changed everything we went with a uh, stage 3 clutch two-piece five wheel the c-mac from uh, c-speed everything's changed everything is new and currently i'm having trouble putting gears in what i'm thinking if you guys see right here this is the uh, the master cylinder i'm not sure how the work was done on the clutch and everything i don't even know if they bleed the system if they didn't then the the system has air and that's making it my gears not to go in so what we have going is i was gonna do it right here at the garage but i don't have the tool that my friend has my friend has that tool that uh where you plug it in to the little bolt and all the fluid starts coming out so that that's a that's a way to keep it clean i don't want to make a mess with all the, all of the fluid and i think this uh takes dot three i'm going to be showing you how to bleed your your clutch in order to you know have it working perfectly fine when the car is hot gears don't want to go in i'm having trouble putting the first second and so on and i'm having the most trouble on reverse that being said i'm just gonna give it a try i talked to rudy the mechanic that worked on my turbo and he mostly said that it's gonna be the lines they might have air worst case scenario is we have a bad cylinder bad uh master cylinder but we don't know yet the first thing that we can do is just head over to my friend bleed the system and make sure that the clutch is working and if that doesn't help then probably a next step will be changing this right here i have a e85 right here i'm going to be putting it on the car i didn't want to risk drive the car downtown get pulled over you know i don't want to risk it at all so i'm just gonna put the e85 and go straight to my friend's shop and then hopefully we can get this thing sorted out and of course i want to fix it because next week saturday we have espocom however you guys want to call it it's a show so we're going to be there saturday so i hope i can see some of you guys over there and also I have another quick update i'm going to be upgrading my trunk i have a, i have the brackets right here brackets gonna help my tank to be up there and these are gonna be behind it. So everything's gonna change on my setup and hopefully it looks good. I did the power coating myself on this tank. If you, if you can tell, it's a lot smaller than this. Let me go ahead and put E85 and we should be able to start driving to my friend's place. All right, let me show you guys real quick. If you guys can tell, car's off, it's not hot. Let me show you gears going like nothing when pressing the clutch. One, two, three four five and then we have reverse but once the car starts you know warming up and everything gears are hard to get in so that's the best bet we have bleed the clutch and hopefully that works so i'm taking you guys with me and it's been super hot here in california guys uh, i'm already sweating just by putting the e85 and for those that are new to the channel we have the s14 we have the g37 thank you for all the support keep subscribing to the channel it means a lot let's go fix this issue I just want to show you guys like the gear doesn't go in see and car starts to move you guys can tell i don't know it's just weird so i need to fix this issue gear will go in if i really press on it but it's gonna be a hard one so i don't really want to drive the car i just want to go pick up the tool and just do it here but it's gonna take a lot more time by the time i go there I hit traffic and all of that stuff so might as well just go get it over with. guys we arrived car did good like i'm telling you guys it's just sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't uh it's just kind of hard to tell but i don't want to be dealing with that issue so might as well just bleed the clutch get it over with
Okay, so I'm not sure if this clip is gonna be a little bit noisy because we have uh, the ACs full blast. It's super hot in here. So that being said, let me show you. We have the G37. We are going to be bleeding the clutch and I'll be showing you that right now. So apparently right now, I'm just going to use the, the jack, put it under. We're gonna be using two and probably two jack stands. We're gonna go under the car and then I'll show you where to locate the, like from where to bleed it. So give me a second. And of course we have uh, this little part over here that we need to remove. We are going to be checking this right here. Yeah, let's make things easier. Let me put the jacks on each, each side and we go from there. And then I'm gonna have my friend help me out pump the clutch a couple times. That way we can get all the air out of the system. Awesome, let's go and change this uh, bottle to a smaller one. So we got rid of the big old bottle. We have this small one and hopefully that can help us out and do the, the job right. All right, so I have the GoPro and that way I can make it easier to show you guys where the bolt is so we can bleed this clutch. And it's gonna be right here. Let me show you guys real quick. Uh, you guys can tell there's this little nip over right here. Need uh, extra help so they can press on the clutch and then release all of the air. Feels better? Yeah. All right, so we continue to work. We went to the store and got more DOT3 fluid for clutch. It looks like gears are going in right now. No problem at all. They seem to be a lot more like, uh, more soft, more smooth. And before they will be like kind of hard to go in. So I'll keep you guys updated right now. We we'll continue to work on this. So this is what we have going on. Yeah, basically the clutch going in a lot easier nice all right guys just making sure everything's nice and tight over here remember this is where you bleed the clutch and everything's nice and tight secure we are good to go this car is off jacks like always make sure you guys use safety first you guys don't want to get on an accident and have the car drop down on you always use safety jack stands jacks and that's the only way i go in under the car other than that if i don't have any safety i'm not doing the job all right so i just want to show you how the gears go in now one two three four five and then we got reverse good goes it easier now or what yep one eternity later <laughs> all right guys and we are back in the garage so let me tell you guys that bleeding the clutch taking all the air out it fixed my issue car is shifting nice and smooth i mean that fixed the issue we were thinking it was gonna be a bad clutch master cylinder all right guys so uh that's it probably next week i'll be detailing the car put it uh take it to the car wash and get everything fixed get everything clean we are heading over to anaheim for espocom and we will go from there it's just me and another member from real region we're gonna be showing it's the purple nissan and my g37 we are the only ones that made it to the show eddie's car still not ready and some of the other guys didn't make it to the show so it's just two of us other than that i'm just gonna end the video right here guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you guys soon